Hello, welcome back. Yesterday, we drew a quick sketch of our problem and you wrote notes, kind of like the action or telling part, right? I did one naming part right there, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure I knew who was doing what in my sentences. All right, so today is the day that we get to work. Yesterday was our thinking and our planning day because good writers always think first. Absolutely. All right, so while we were gone, I worked on my final copy drawing. So you didn't have to just watch me draw slowly and carefully. All right, so here is, I turned my sketch into a good drawing. I made it a little, the store a little bit closer so you could see that my poor Cuddles oh, is crying. And then look at Fluffy so sad too and is crying. Oh no, we have a problem. Exactly, right? We're working on the problem. So your illustration should show your problem, right? So now it shows that it's night and Cuddles is sad and inside and Fluffy is sad and outside. Oh no, oh no, Cuddles is locked inside. All right, so for our writing, we need to start right at the beginning of the problem. So I had said that Cuddles got lost in the store. Hmm. Have you ever been lost in the store? Or have you ever thought you were lost in the store? Yeah, I remember I got lost when I was little. It was scary. But how did you get lost? What did you do? Did you walk away? Yeah, that's what I did. I went to go look at something and my mom didn't follow me. Because <laughs> I was supposed to stay with her, kids. All right, so that's how I got lost, but I didn't know I was lost until afterwards, right? So if that's what I did, if I was the character, I walked away to look at something and got lost, that could be what Cuddles did, right? Because that's how you can get lost sometimes. So I could say that Cuddles walked away or Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost, right? So I'm gonna think, Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. Then Fluffy looked, left the store to look for Cuddles. Hey, Fluffy thought he was outside. And then the store closed for the night and Cuddles was locked inside. That sounds good, that's three sentences. First one. Right? I'm still doing some planning, right? I'm thinking about turning these into sentences so it makes sense. <clears throat> hmm, what did I say, right? Cuddles walked away. Okay, so the first one. Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. Fluffy went outside to look for him. I look for her. Cuddles is a girl, right? Pronouns, <laughs> right? He is for boys, she, her, it's for girls. Okay. So Fluffy went outside to look for her. The store closed for the night. And Cuddles got locked inside. All right, let's get to work, writers. All right, so it was Cuddles went to look at toys. So I need Cuddles' name. Here it is, Cuddles. And because it's a name, it needs to be capitalized. Yes, it's a proper noun. Cuddles, oh, and it's the beginning of a sentence. Cuddles went, went. Do you have your word list with you? I don't know where mine went. Can you grab yours, please? Went, unless you know how to spell went. It's a power word, wuh, wuh. You know it's gonna be under W. W -a -a. went, good, thank you. Cuddles went to, these are all power words, to look, another power word. This is why we do power words. If you can read it, if you know how to read the power word, you know how to write it correctly. 
because you can find it, all right? So all of those power words you know how to read should all be spelled correctly. Petals went to look at another power word, toys, not a power word. Boy, hmm, any two B friends out there? That, no, it's a one B, one B. Any one B friends out there that know the, the um, vowel team that says oi? Oi. I heard somebody say it. Oh, why? Yes. Toy. Cuddles went to look at toy. Toys. There's more than one toy, so that means I put an S at the end. It sounds like a Z, but it's really an S. Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. And, all right, another power word, got. That's right, remember, we spelled it yesterday. We did our thinking. Got. Lost. L-O-S-T. All right, first sentence, I end it right there. Er, it's a period. I'm just telling you, right? Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. Wow, great spelling, look at that. Thank you for helping. All right, what did I say next? All right, Fluffy went outside to look for her. That's the pronoun, right? Her. <clears throat> Hear my voice, it's weird. <laughs> All right, so Fluffy, because it's a proper noun, a name, I have to capitalize it. And it's the beginning of a sentence. All right, fluffy. I'm looking right here to make sure I spell it right. Fluffy went outside, or I could say left the store. Which one? Fluffy left the store to look for her, or Fluffy went outside to look for her? I like went outside too. Okay. Wait, we said went up here. Sometimes it's good to kind of like say different words. Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. Fluffy went outside to look for her. Oh, I still like that one though. Yeah, let's do it. Fluffy went, it's right here, went outside. It is a compound word because we have the word out and we have the word side. Put them together, outside. You know how to spell out? That is a power word. I'm gonna help. You can look it up if you need to. Starts with a no. <sighs> Ready? You get it? Thank you. Outside. This is one word. Out. I. Says its name. Side. Went outside. Fluffy went outside to look for her. Two more power words. Look. Right? To look for another power word. Or. There's a power word inside that power word. Or. <laughs> Fluffy went outside to look for her. Another power word, friends. Power words are amazing. Her. You can help me out with the rest. It's a power word I can read, so I have to spell it right. Did you find it? E-R. Thank you for looking it up for me. Fluffy went outside to look for her. All right, I need punctuation. Is that a question? Am I asking? No, I'm telling you. Is there a lot of emotion? No, so that's just a period. All right, so I did the got lost. I got fluffy left. Now I need my sentence about the store closing. Hmm, let's read it over to see what's going to sound right. Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. Fluffy went outside to look for her. The store closed. 
and the cuddles was locked inside. All right, so the. Wait, it's the beginning of a sentence. The beginning of a sentence needs to be capitalized. Yes, the. I know how to spell that one without looking it up. Yay, me. The store. And I did store and closed right here. So I'm just going to copy my work from yesterday. Close. The store closed and Cuddles was locked inside. And Cuddles was. Power word. Can you help me out? Can you look that one up, please? Was, because it sounds like a W-U-Z, but I know that's not right. The store closed and Cuddles was, right, W? Oh, say it louder, I couldn't hear you. A-S, thank you. Yeah, because I can read that, that looks right. And Cuddles was locked. Ooh, ah, 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 yep, lock, locked, locked, and cuddles was locked inside, in, power word, side, right, we had outside, inside, inside. Now, I'm going to add something kind of fun at the end. What do we do? Cuddles was locked inside. Oh no! I want to write oh no. Did you know that O oh is a power word for 2G? I think I always think that's such a silly power word. Oh. Oh no, another power word. Now, what kind of punctuation should I put? Am I just saying, oh no? Am I asking, oh no? Or am I saying, oh no? So what would it go at the end? Yes, my exclamation point, oh no. All right, so that's something fun that you could put at the end because it's a problem, right? All right, so now I'm gonna go and read it again. Cuddles went to look at toys and got lost. Luffy went outside to look for her. The store closed and Cuddles was locked inside. Oh no. Ooh, this is going to be a good story. Thank you for your help. So now your job is to draw your final copy of your drawing, right? So you're going to draw your characters in the setting showing the problem, right? So whatever your characters are, wherever your setting is, that is what you're doing. Color it in, make it beautiful, because this is what's going to go in your book. Okay? And then turn your notes into sentences. All right? Remember, you're looking for the naming part, like who, so which character, and then the telling part, what did they do? So cuddles is the naming part, went to look at toys and got lost, is the telling or action part. Fluffy is the naming part went outside to look for her. That's what Fluffy did. That was the telling or action part. The store closed, right? The store is the naming part. Closed is the action part. This one has two. And Cuddles, naming part, was locked inside. The telling part. All right, so double check your sentences, making sure that you have the naming part and the telling part. The sentences need both to make sense. Okay, I cannot wait to see your work. Make sure we know what the problem is. And if you want, you can write, oh no, at the end. All right, next time we meet, we're gonna brainstorm another problem and we're gonna get to pick which one we like best. All right, have a fantastic day. I will see you next time. Bye.